What's up guys? It's Emily. So right now I am going to be doing makeup through the years and we are finally at 1990. I am so excited to do this makeup look. I actually, the reason why I didn't post Saturday was because I had to purchase certain things for this look. Um, so I'm glad that I finally could make this video for you guys so it will be up today. Um, but yeah, I had to purchase some things. But I'm overall excited to really, really do this video. Um, I've been waiting for the 90s. I love the 90s makeup look and all that good stuff. But before I get started, give this video a fat thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to always be notified of my videos. Comment what you guys think of this 1990s makeup look. And let's get this started. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is wiping down my face with this facial wipe. Making sure any oils and dirt or last makeup that I did not take off from the day before. Um, as you guys can tell, I was reading the wipe bag just because I never used these wipes and I wanted to make sure there wasn't any weird ingredients in it. It felt weird at first, but it was a really good wipe and it took off a lot of oils and dirt. So I was pretty impressed with this wipe. First I'm going in with my Fit Me Maybelline foundation and I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just pretty much blend that out. And from what I was reading back in the 90s, matte foundation was a big thing for having like a matte face if that makes sense. So I'm just spreading it out with my beauty blender and making sure I get anywhere where there's creases or just making sure that everything's just blended good and I'm not missing any spots. I also read that if you use a lighter uh, concealer, it brings out more of the matte look of the foundation. So that's honestly what I've been doing for so long. I'm using my ColourPop um, concealer, which is like my all-time favorite. As you guys can tell, I am running out, which I need to restock on. But yeah, using a lighter concealer to make your face foundation stand out was a big thing back in the 90s. Okay, so to give myself more of a matte look on my face is I'm going to go in with my translucent powder and I'm just going to put as much as possible all over my face and just blend it out where my face is just going to bake and it's going to pretty much um, bake my face and keep my foundation in place all day and pretty much give it that matte look that the 90s was a big thing for so I felt like the translucent powder did do the justice that I where I wanted it to look so I was pretty happy obviously you guys can tell I'm not blending it out I'm actually just letting it bake on my face and then I'm gonna go in with my big fluffy brush and just dust off whatever extra um, translucent powder off my face that way it doesn't look cakey like so as you guys can tell now I'm going in with my big fluffy brush and just taking any extra translucent powder off okay so what I was reading was that blush wasn't a big thing back in the 90s but a very light coat on the cheeks so I used this very light blush and I mixed it with another light blush and I pretty much blended those two together just to give myself a little light blush on my face because blush wasn't a big thing back in the 90s like it was in the 80s. So now I'm going in with my eyebrows and I'm going to use obviously my shade. Um, from what I read back in the 90s, thin eyebrows was a big thing and then coloring them very lightly. But thin eyebrows, I'm telling you guys, search it up on Google, thin eyebrows was a big thing in the 90s. So funny thing, my eyebrows are thin, perfect for this look. So I didn't have to do much besides just coloring in certain parts of my eyebrows that didn't, like I had missing hair or it just didn't stand out, if that makes sense. But yes, thin eyebrows was a big thing in the 90s, which I found so funny. Um, so yeah. So 
So now I'm going in with my metallic eyeshadow that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. I love this palette. I actually, this today was the first time I actually used it. So I was pretty impressed with the quality of it. And it actually, there was no fallout. It was a really good palette. But back to my explanation. Pretty much the 90s was a big thing for shimmer. And if you were a person that was more into blues and pinks in the 90s, I feel like that was more closer to the early 90s. But I wanted to go for more of a like a nude, bronzy, shimmery, gold look because that was a big thing in the 90s. So I was trying to think of ideas and looks. I was looking up on Google looks for shimmery eyeshadow and I came across this one. So I was like, I have the perfect palette for this. So I'm going to show you guys, obviously I'm showing you guys, how I did it very lightly and a lot of shimmer, obviously, on the base of my eye and I put brown in the crease of my eye. Now I'm just blending it out just to make it not look like it's not blended out. I just wanted to make sure that everything was good and blended out and it didn't look too much on my face. So now I am going in lightly, very lightly with some eyeliner on my upper eye. And as you guys can tell, I did not put too much. And the reason why was because the back in the 90s, smudged eyeliner was a big thing. And I did so much research for the 90s and all the other decades, but the 90s was smudged eyeshadow just to give it more of like... I guess an intensity in the eyes. I'm not sure why it was like that, but I just had to make it look like smudge like, which I was kind of feeling it. it. It didn't look bad, but yeah. Now I'm going in with my primer for my eyelashes. And if you guys don't know, your natural lashes with nice mascara was a big thing in the 90s. Not too much makeup was a big thing in the 90s. If anything, it was natural and like pretty basic and just dark lipstick and lip liner and the eyebrows and the lashes. But I put some um, L'Oreal primer on my lashes and then I went in with my telescopic L'Oreal mascara. And as you guys can tell, do you guys see how nice the primer made my la my lashes really long? I am obsessed with these two combos. I highly suggest it if you guys are looking for something that you could go out and feel natural and beautiful during the summertime, springtime. This is the way to go. But Long um, mascara was a big thing back in the 90s where your natural lashes would show and then I think it was pretty simple the 90s and I don't mind it I like simple and sweet now I'm going in with my NYX lip liner matte lip liner to be exact I'm going in with my matte lip liner and obviously you guys can tell this was my pretty much first time genuinely using like a lip liner pencil but honestly, I didn't do too bad. Like, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Obviously, it doesn't look nice, but you guys are going to see. It's going to look way better. But lip liner was a big thing also back in the 90s. And then the dark lipsticks, whether it was browns, especially reds. Um, but I wanted to go in for more of a brown with a metallic um lipstick and I felt like it brung out the whole look together as you guys can tell like look at that boom bang gorgeous okay guys so this is the final 90s makeup it's pretty basic um I'm gonna explain through the video like what type of makeup I used and like just tell you like the details of like the 90s makeup look. Um, I did put a scrunchie in my hair with a high up down hair up and down uh, ponytail. So I thought I'm, I'm feeling like scrunchies was a big thing in the 90s. Um, 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this 1990s video. Give this video a fat thumbs up. Comment what you guys think of this 1990s makeup look. And let me know down below if it's accurate. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys in 2000. <laughs> Bye, guys.